Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Intuitive and Visions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a general love and romance horoscope for June 2020 uh, for those of you under the sign of Libra. So this is general. It's not going to resonate with every Libra out there. So please keep that in mind if you find yourself with more questions than answers or feeling confused. Um, it's probably not your reading. Don't try to make a fit. I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description with the link, as well as most of the items you see here, including the jellyfish lamp. Jellyfish are not real. My Instagram information if you want to support the channel and all the decks I'll be using here today. Also this uh, month I tried something different with all the horoscopes. Uh, since I have my um, intention candles, I'm using the love letter intention candle. Um, and I did before the video um, sage and intentions for you guys if you are looking for uh, to reconnect with past love or you're looking for new love, uh, soulmate, uh, twin flame, whatever the case is. But I put the intentions out there for you. Okay, those are also available below um, in the description as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get the general energy surrounding you, Libra, uh, for this remainder of June 2020. However, all my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to catch this reading outside of that timeline and it resonates with your situation, then that means it was meant for you to hear. Okay. At that time. All right. Whoops. I guess that wanted to be shown. So some of you guys might have a wonder and why to something It says the way I was raised. Okay. This is for my twin flame messages. So I'm just going to put that back. So that's just something to let you guys know that whatever you were worried about is because the way somebody was raised. Okay. All right. So this is the romance angels. So this is the energy surrounding Libra and we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this comes up for two scenarios for me. This could actually be a spiritual connection with the person that you're thinking about that you are, uh, you know, either coming into your life or somebody from the past, or this could be an influence because of, um, the way somebody was raised, you know, cultural differences, um, their beliefs about marriages, you know, stand together regardless. I do feel since that card popped up from my, um, deck beforehand about the way uh, I was raised, that it has to do with that. So some of you are dealing with somebody that is, uh, it could be you, uh, Libra as well, that is the, the uh, effect in the connection is the fact of how they were raised. Okay. So we'll see whether they're going to want to change that energy or, or not. So this is the soul's journey lessons card. So we have success. I know that there is no greater uh, goal than to love. So there's some success that you might be getting or feeling um, that's surrounding you when it comes to love and romance. Um, if, if this has to do with the connection or, or belief system, um, there's some success energy uh, surrounding that. Okay. For it to be um, successful, regardless if maybe of the way somebody was raised or not this is a numerology guidance card this is the energy you're in libra so we have number three creativity i see threes as uh, prayers answers and some is uh, about self-mastery but this is creativity that you're in this energy of being uh creating things so this could be towards you know the music music or arts uh painting um, creating, uh, new ideas, uh, anything like that, but you're in a, um, creative uh, energy. Like you're having a lot of passion towards something. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's the current situation between you and your person, Libra. And we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you could already be flirting with this person or this is an energy that you are thinking about doing. This is my situations deck. <clears throat> this is uh, my second deck that I created. This is actually available right now for pre-order. And there's a few days left. Um, if you live in the United States, uh, you order on my site and um, you'll receive a free gift. 
If you are international and interested in my deck, uh, you'll have to use the email below to contact me so I can send you a link. All right. So we have alien, telepathic dreams and songs. So you might be getting um, messages through um, your dream, you know, through dreams, songs, um, you know, when you're sleeping at night, um, that whatever that you are wanting or um, wanting to take place when it comes to love and romance, that this may be coming in or maybe you are flirting um, in your dreams with this person. OK, and this could be sparking a uh, sparking uh, a new creative uh, energy towards you, a passion. So there could be a passion. There could be sexual energy as well as what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> so this is the um, mermaid tarot. I'm just going to further see what's going on between you and your person. OK, so we have two of wands. So this is about being at a crossroads. You also could be doing dealing with a fire sign, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But this is where someone is needing to make a decision, okay? To go left or right. Um, as you see, they're in this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in this water energy. So there's some emotions involved, involved here too. So this could be about a partnership. Because two of wands can be about a partnership as well. But you're receiving some kind of an energy of what maybe that somebody is getting. Um, they're going to pursue their passion. Maybe they're on the verge of making this decision. Um, and maybe, like I said, you're getting some energy where you guys are being flirtatious in the, in the dreams. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. So I'm going to clarify What's going on between you and your person, Libra? And we have boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So someone is thinking about uh, moving forward. Possibly extending their uh, energy towards flirting with someone else. Or maybe they're getting um, signs um, of messages that the person they're interested in is thinking about moving forward um, in this connection. And um, some I'm, I'm getting that you might be thinking about moving forward with flirting with other people. Like exploring your, your passionate um, um, side is also what I'm getting. Alright, so let's go ahead and see who or what is coming in for you a libra during the remainder of june 2020 and we have the tower so this is um a major shake up okay this is a breakthrough um this could be someone with this religious beliefs maybe somebody is no longer in this false belief energy because this the tower comes to um you know, shake things up, shake up, you know, false foundations and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and see why that is there for what's coming in for you. So your energy is success, creativity. So I don't see it as a, a bad thing. So let's see why the tower is here for who or what is coming in for you. And we have wish, hope, praying, yearning. So what I'm getting, whatever you're hoping and praying for, wishing for that this is going to come in this is going to be successful okay because we have that success we have creativity we have religious factor so you might have this uh spiritual spiritual connection is coming in uh, maybe from someone that you know you thought that it wasn't going to happen with maybe they're changing getting out of that false uh belief system of, of the way they were raised so yeah <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, my voice is cracking. I've been doing a lot of readings today. All right, so um, how does your person currently see you, Libra? Six of Cups. Someone they have a fast, I mean, <laughs> someone they have a, a past fond memories with. Uh, someone that, um, you know, you that childhood playful, innocent, um, wanting to return. Uh, two, this is a card of return. This is water energy. Some of you could be dealing with um, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or this person could be that um, as well. So let's see why that's there for how they see you. 
Why is the Six of Cups here for how Libra's person sees them? Divine Masculine. Okay, so this is Divine Masculine energy. So this Divine Masculine might be wanting to return. Okay, uh, unless you are the Divine Masculine watching. So Divine Masculine can be a female, just like a, a Divine Feminine can be a male. So just take it how it resonates. But they, they see it as... Um, uh, also, divine masculine can be about control, you know, wanting to take control uh, to return. But I'm getting that someone is this divine masculine energy is possibly wanting to return. OK, so if this is something you're wishing for. I'm getting the energy that this is uh, very, very uh, possible. I mean, of course, free will is a factor, but the energy is saying yes. OK, so what do they want from you? What does your person want from you, Libra? Eight of Wands. This is communication. This is quick action messages. Um, this could be travel. So let's go ahead and see why is the Eight of Wands here. Anxiety. Scare it, panic. So they either want you to communicate um whatever you're scared about your fears or they want you to take some type of quick, quick action towards this this also could be them communicating what they're afraid of okay what they they're taking some action towards what they've been scared of with that religious factor i do feel that some of them are okay of course this could be your energy and this could be you doing all these things so what action are they going to take towards you libra And we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of waiting, planting the seed, investing in the future. So let's go ahead and see why that's there. What action are they going to take? Why is Seven of Pentacles here? Grip. So anchor, chains, way down. So someone is being like, way down, I feel... For some, it, it could have to do with the money issues, too, because they've um, invested a lot. So this is causing a lot of um, this is what the anxiety and, and the panic and stuff was about, because something that they were invested in. So there could be a, an energy that they might um, take an action towards this, but they're having anxiety over their investment or whatever they put into when it comes to these religious factors. So, and they could be being weighed down because of, you know, how much they put into this. For some of you, this could be just um, being weighed down by waiting in general. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what's on the bottom and then I'm gonna get three messages for you, Libra, from your person. So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you were worried about whether you should or not, um, whether this is towards someone else, it's saying that, you know, they're real and worth exploring. And we do have this flirt energy um, there in between you guys in the situation. So we have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. See, so this is something in the 3D that is taking place or that you are manifesting and we have 87 that number could be a factor two for some of you uh, threes as well this is also um, number uh, 15 so this could also be about you know past uh, addictions codependent behaviors you know people the way that someone was raised those type of uh, energies but we also also have synchronicity. So you may be getting signs about this abundance that's coming in um, about this connection. You could also be getting it through this um, telepathic means through dreams and songs. Um, so you might be getting some signs that these someone that you are tied to or is coming for towards you or, you know, for, for some of you, if you're looking for something new, maybe it's some new coming your way. So we have pretending fake living beyond means yeah that was that energy I, I felt I sensed with somebody possibly you know that false behavior okay or that those false beliefs that foundation why the tower is there so I'm feeling like somebody is 
um, or the, the universe is here to shake up this pretending this fake energy. And if somebody was living beyond their means, if it had to do with this, uh, whatever they invested in, what they're being weighed down, um, that is going to be lifted once they go towards their um, happiness. Okay. So then we have here um, Ace of Cups. So this is a new offer, a new beginning, emotional offer, okay, uh, in love. So there's some kind of new beginning. So I am sensing with some of you guys, there's a new relationship um, on the horizon or somebody is coming towards you, you may not be aware of, or some of you may be going to pursue something new, okay. And let me go ahead and get this one. And then we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so this is somebody you could have um had an ending with okay um or this could be uh, somebody this uh person that you're tied to is ending the relationship that they were involved with where they were pretending and being fake that this were this could be the person that you know that you're getting signs from in your dreams Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get three messages from my Twin Flame messages. This is available if you live in the United States from my site or my Etsy shop. And if you're international, you have to email me. So I want to reunite with you. So your person does want to get back together. They're wanting to come together uh, with you. We do have that Six of Cups there. Okay. When I saw you, it was no coincidence. So you might have ran into your person um, uh, recently and was wondering if it was a coincidence or not. And if you are wondering, it wasn't a coincidence. This also could be your person is realizing that it's not a coincidence about these dreams and signs that they're getting, that things are going to take place, that somebody is going to get out of this false beliefs. And because they realize that this connection that they have with you is, is not a coincidence. And let's get one more. I miss you much. So your person really misses you. Okay. So that explains, you know, all this passion and this romantic uh, energy. So this is most likely somebody you have some kind of connection with. Okay. Whether you're wanting a new love or, or not. But um, the person that you're thinking about is uh, they miss you a lot. Okay. And then we have on the bottom, what are you doing to me? So that's that enchantment, like, you know, crazy, like, you know, out of control kind of love. You don't understand what's going on. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description with the link, as well as the decks I've used here today. So I want to thank each and every one of you, Libra, for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, where we are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.